What else we have here? Annalise says, I really want another baby with my partner, but after a very bad pregnancy and birth, I'm very scared. I have developed a very high anxiety and OCD because of this. How can I help myself to let go and give my partner another child? Do you have any child right now or was it the first try? Let's talk about the anxiety that you have. The anxiety and the fear of something <clears throat> is created when you compare what it was with what it is, what it could be. Your thoughts create this comparison. Let's say you were you had a pain in your side last night so you're thinking I had a pain last night I wonder if I will have it tonight as well or how will it be tomorrow so you just created fear by comparing what it was to what it is what it may be what it could be tomorrow but none of it is real. Your thought created this comparison, traveled in time, created time, thought created time by comparing what it was to what it is, what it will be, which is creating time. So thought created time. So thought is time. And this separation of time by thinking of what it was, what it will be, what it could be, is creating that anxiety to you. Otherwise, if you focus on the fact that you are here, no comparison or perception of what it was, what it could be, whatever, and just be one with the, with the existence of this moment of life as it's moving, the movement of the now, the movement of life, there is no fear. There is no anxiety. It only creates when you compare that experience, will it be again? How would it be? Or will it be okay? This kind of a thinking comparison is what brings, otherwise the reality of it may never happen again. But the only thing in, in, relation to that event that you have as a pictorial, as an experience in your mind is that kind of an event. Therefore, that sort of topic represents to you what you know of it. And what you know of it happened to be the kind of a scenario that you went through. But that doesn't mean that scenario is how it's going to be all the time. And you will never know but by comparing it and thinking about it, it doesn't mean it's happening and put you in that anxiety. It's just a thought. And the thought is an illusion. So your whole anxiety is an illusion. It's not an actuality. You create it by thought. And the thought is like when you put a virtual reality goggle on your head to watch a movie, and when you have that goggle on, you see nothing other than that movie. The frame limits of the borders of the frame of the goggle that you have doesn't allow you to see anything outside of that screen of movie. The only thing you see is the screen, and there is no outside of that boundary. So you think that's the whole world. That's how everything will be according to what the limitation of the field of your vision and what is in that screen. And that's what you have done. You've put a goggle on your head according to the experience, thinking that the only way it's going to be, because that's the only information you have of it, the only picture you have of it, you think that what you know and what you have experienced is the whole possibility, the whole world of it, the only thing that it could be, because that's the only thing you know of it, the only experience of it. But if you talk to many other ladies who have had children, 
and you see the number of this incident is so limited compared to 7 billion people who have successfully given birth. It's in nature's way of reproduction. So obviously there's a lot more uh, positive possibilities of success. It, it, it was designed for success, not designed for failure. I mean, it's a thought that creates that because the the cows and the horses and you know they don't have that fear. They don't have that anxiety. They're because they're with the now. I'm pregnant. I'm giving it. Okay, it's coming, okay. There's no anxiety because there's no thought about it. Oh, the statistic says, or oh, that happened to uh, Auntie uh, May, and now I gotta think about. Will it happen to me? The horse doesn't have that. It's just pregnant. Because it's designed to be successful. That's how the universe is designed. It's the nature is designed it's for procreation. So you have that going for you. So, and I'm sure you have doctors and so on that can advise you, you know, how to, you know, feel about it and how to expect and how what the procedure of it is and how it happens and put you at ease and understand how it works. I often heard the first uh, pregnancy it always does lead to miscarriage and uh, same thing happened uh, uh, with, uh, with me and my ex-wife. Uh, the first one you know, we miscarried. It's like the nature is kind of positioning you to be ready, kind of making you experience it so you know, okay, now okay, it's synchronized, now it's ready. Like a brand new car, you got to drive it a little bit and the engines are fall into perfect place and now ready to for the race. So it's like a practice thing. It happens. And so it happens to many people. And that's a normal thing. So then we had another, uh, and we had a, and uh, I have a son. So <laughs> it's, it's 26 years old. But what I'm trying to say is that's something that is a normal, um, part of normal statistics of it. And sometimes nature, when it finds you're not ready yet, then it refuses it. And because it wants the child to be you know, healthy and of, uh, you know, winning nature. So it says, no, no, I'm not ready. So you just got to get more ready. And then when you, when nature feels you're ready, then it happens. It has nothing to do with you feeling bad about it or have anxiety about it. It's nature decides, are you ready or not? There is more wisdom than what we can conjure up or figure out. So <laughs> be chill about it. <laughs> and talk to your doctors and make sure everything is good for you and nutrition wise and so on and proceed from there. Okay.